everyone. I thought I'd bring you a little vlog because I have some news. Today it's Tuesday um, and it's the second day of my transition week, my gap week, my gardening leave week because as of Monday, I will be employed in a real job. And if you're wondering why that's a big deal, it's because I've run my own business for the last eight years. And for the last two years, I've been seriously contemplating rejoining the corporate world for many reasons. Um, and I think I'm gonna unpack those reasons on my other channel, Proving Potential. If you haven't come across that channel, go and check it out. I'll link it in the description box below. But this is, yeah, my gap week, and um, I'm just gonna have a bit of a staycation in Brisbane. So today I'm going to pick up my dear friend, Eileen, who I've met on YouTube, through YouTube and Instagram. Uh, and we've met up once before and had the longest lunch in the history of lunches. Um, it went to dinner. <laughs> And yeah, we're gonna have a staycation at a beautiful inner city hotel called the Carlisle. Uh, we're gonna do a bit of shopping, a bit of eating, a bit of girly chitty chat chat. And uh, hopefully I can catch some snippets of it for you on this vlog because Brisbane is a beautiful city and this time of year, it's early 20s, like in terms of Celsius, 23, something like that. It's cool for me, but it will be lovely for her coming from Melbourne. And it's blue sky days, um, cool at night. But yeah, I've got a fun few days um, planned, so I'm just gonna vlog along. So I'm gonna head to the airport and who knows where I'll pick this back up, but yeah, I'm really excited. Look familiar, people. Hi. Such a chill vibe. Very chill. Welcome to the Carlisle, Fortitude Valley, Brisbane. Look it up. What a fabulous gift Arlene bought for me. Can't wait to look at this. So, quick room tour. This is a king terrace, apparently. Bathroom, shower section, the loo's in there. Fit check, hi. And then there must be a little terrace out here, I would say. Let's pop we on out. A little place to sit. Oh, there it is. It's an urban terrace. Look at the view. Very urban. There you go. Excellent. Nice big bed. So we had a aborted landing, poor thing. Um, so we're just getting it tidied up and then we're going to go out, have a cocktail and a bit of a mooch about. We love a cocktail bar in the mini bar very well stopped. So I've just done a little bit of ironing to freshen up my outfit for tonight. We are going to SK's which is a steak and oyster seafood bar here and I've decided to um, make it all about the shoes and the bag. Accessories generally. So I'll be wearing my Lily Silk shirt. Um, I was gifted this one a while ago and I do love it. I love that it looks kind of manly oldie worldie. Um, I'll be wearing my Victoria Woods black jacket. I will be wearing my Jacuba distressed jeans. And for the big reveal, I'll be wearing these beautiful Roger Vivia shoes. You cannot tell me that Manolo's come close to how beautiful these are. These are what I picked up from the Farfetch sale. Full price, they are extortionate. I got them 30% off and then a further 20% off. So tonight, it's all about the shoes. So here is the 
finished look for tonight, done but undone, hair out. Um, it's not really the finished look because I've got my gown on. Who else wears in their new shoes by putting socks on with them? <laughs> Little hack for you, put a pair of socks on and they just kind of let your shoes find a bit of heat and melt to your feet. Introducing my date for the night, this beautiful Chanel mini rectangular, a martini, dirty, salmon tartare, amazing, followed by a Kiwami Wagyu steak sirloin, and chocolate fondant to share. Good morning. I can never sleep very well when I'm away from home, so I look pretty terrible because I've hardly slept but it's seven o'clock my alarm has just gone off and I am going to get ready to go for a walk with Eileen we're gonna go and explore Brisbane in the winter sunshine which I think would be such a novelty for her coming from Melbourne um, last night was such a great night I didn't vlog but I'll put some pictures in we both love sashimi and um, she had the kingfish, um, kingfish, I think it was kingfish sashimi and I had salmon tartare and oh my god it was unbelievable. We went to SK's, um, SK's is a steak and oyster house uh, and I've never had steak there before, I always have seafood. Um, because we can make pretty good steak at home, not make it, cook it. Um, but then for Maine, we were like, let's be French and our outfits were very French. And uh, I think I've got a picture of us playing around <laughs> afterwards, but we didn't get any full length pictures together. Um, but you should see Eileen's beautiful Chanel bag. Oh my God, it has to be a Metier da bag. She wasn't sure, but it was a price on application bag. I'll put a picture in here. It's just divine and weighs a ton. It's velvet and beaded and oh, amazing. Anyway, so we had this French scene going on. So with my entree, I had a dirty martini. Mm, delicious combination. And then for Maine, I had a Kiwami, which is like a Wagyu steak, um, sirloin, and I think Eileen had an eye fillet and they were cooked to perfection. I had hot English mustard and we had fries and like a green pea dish, like peas and bacon and something. Anyway, it was amazing. And there's a little bit of an in-joke because we're both from Tasmania originally and Tasmania is known for its potatoes and peas. <laughs> so we thought that was funny. And then we shared a fondant for dessert and yes, a couple of glasses of a lovely Pinot Noir from the Mornington Peninsula down in Victoria and such a great night catching up, but I really never sleep very well when I'm away from home. Um, so, you know, I've got to push through today now, but uh, looking forward to going for a walk. Um, yeah, I'll take you with us. Fit check for the day, for the first part of the day. Walking outfit, do do do, Lulu lemon tights. This jumper that I picked up through Ada, another YouTuber who found it. I'm wearing my Chanel wallet on chain. Don't hate me, but I'm wearing my Balenciaga hat because that's what I've got. So if I put it this way, we're gonna go and explore, get a croissant and a coffee. Just off for a little morning walk on the Brisbane River. Do you want to be in the vlog? <laughs> <laughs> I can take you if you want. You can go, hi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, it's a glorious morning. I mean, where else would you rather be on a cold winter's day than in Brisbane? Stunning. Oh, I guess it's got a girlfriend. Oh, look. Nice to see you guys. Before I get you untidy. Exactly. Yummy. Fair enough. Hey guys, um, just uh, lunching at Kalenica. It's 
say hi to Eileen. <laughs> um, it's a beautiful winter's day here in Brisbane. Um, I'll do some food shots for you, but can't really do too much vlogging in here because you're not allowed to. So first up, we have Tara Masalata with fresh house-baked pitta. You can see our gorgeous bags. Then we had calamari and char-grilled octopus, followed by dolmades. Not very picturesque, are they? The famous house Greek salad and fish of the day, which was red emperor. Another bag shot by the pool. And a little span of our shopping spree at Samantha Ogilvie Boutique on James Street. Lots of goodies here. Check it out if you're ever in Brisbane. I have been a very bad vlogger. We've been doing a lot of hardcore shopping and not me, I've been assisting. Um, so that's been really lovely and we're about to go into the city and see Connor. I doubt I'm gonna be vlogging much more today. So I'll probably come back to you tomorrow or I might share some more food posts today. Hello, <laughs> apologies again. My vlogging has been super terrible. It's my last day of gap week and I've just, I'm just trying to milk every single minute that I can um, because I'm not gonna be in charge of my future. Uh, <laughs> well, I am going to be in charge. Let me take that back. I'm not probably going to, I'm definitely not going to have as much flexibility as I have now. So I decided given it's a cold morning, that I would have a bit of a pamper morning before I do some YouTube filming. And my fabulous friend, Eileen, she has gifted me a couple of Omnilux um, facial mask and a decollete mask um, to use with my um, Omnilux LED mask. Um, so I thought I might do those today. That'll be a nice little pamper session whilst I'm getting ready. Um, they're with hyaluronic acid. Um, you can use them with or without the LED. So I'll just put the decolletage one on as well. And then I'll give you a little look and I'll watch some YouTube um, whilst I'm doing that. <laughs> oh my God, the things we do. So here's step one. And uh, here's step two, CN10. Wow. Can we just take a moment? Miracle mask. All right, I'm gonna put some makeup on and get ready for the day and um, all other boring stuff that I would not be including in this vlog, but um, yeah. Okay, I am ready and I was just about to start filming. And then I thought, <laughs> it's gap week. Um, I filmed a video called Everyday Luxuries and you probably would have seen that by now. If I've posted it, I will put the link in the description box below. But this is not an everyday luxury, but it's kind of a weekly luxury. And it is the simplest of things, but simple things done well, in my opinion, are the greatest luxuries of all. And for me, that is the occasional beautiful buttery French croissant. Now, it's very hard to find a good French baker in Brisbane, Australia, generally. Even harder to find one that bakes consistently. And my local is literally five minutes from home, but sometimes they have croissants, sometimes they have, you know, more, um, uh, fiddly decorated one. I don't want that. I just want a classic croissant. That's all I want. And sometimes they're ready at eight. Sometimes they're ready at nine. Sometimes they say we're not making any today. It's very French of them, isn't it? And uh, so I have my fingers crossed and my toes crossed that um, today I'm able to jag a beautiful fresh croissant from the oven. Um, so I hope that you're wishing me luck because Gap Week would not be complete without a croissant. And Mr. Addiction has given up on this bakery. He's just like, no, no, I'm not getting up and driving there again because they're so inconsistent and I totally get that. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm a gambler. I'll take a risk, I'll have a go. So um, 
what I decided to wear is a version of what I wore yesterday. This is my IRO or IRO, um, like cardigan, biker jacket kind of thing. I've got a Lily Silk uh, Melon Melbourne camisole. So I originally bought this in black last year. Then Mel, a few months back now, said that it'd come out in new colors. So there's a hot fuchsia pink, which I don't know if I've worn on my channel yet. Um, this little baby pink and an azure blue, which I wore in my yesterday's outfit of the day, which I will post there. Um, they're really just great to wear under, uh, they're a little revealing for me just to wear on their own because I I loved wearing all the silks in the early 2000, but I'm not, in the late 90s, but I'm not, I don't have that butter no more. Um, so I will not be wearing <laughs> those sorts of things on their own, but I do love wearing them under a cardi or a jacket or especially underneath like a winter knit where you just want something between your skin and the knit, but you don't want it to catch on each other and kind of pull the knit up. Um, so silk camis are really good for that too. And the colors are super pretty. So yeah, a pair of jeans, a pair of, um, my old pretty ballerina um, like ballet flats with a pointed toe can they be ballet flats with a pointed toe anyway I don't think you can get them anymore but they're my absolute faves I love them I want to try and find some more because I'm a huge fan of pretty ballerina flats with a pointed toe wish me luck guys wish me luck <laughs> Yes. We're in luck. I got a croissant. How exciting. Mm -mm. Okay, back in the car. I have filmed a couple of YouTube videos. So I'm feeling fairly pleased about that. I've got some in the bank to get me through whilst I'm... Uh, you know, working for the man through the week. Um, I have decided that for my last day of Gap Week, I'm going to go to the shops, suburban shops. I've got to take back, um, I tried some denim midi skirts from Jakuba, and although they fit, I just think I'm trying to fit into a trend. I don't think it's something that I'm really keen on I really struggle with midi skirts they're just not my vibe so I'm going to take them back and I have some vouchers to spend um, for reward points at witchery and I see they've just dropped a new selection of things and there might be some good things for my work wardrobe so I will go and check that out and just generally see what's new without a pressure or a stress in the world. And this is in the women's section. It's an oversized striped shirt. Contrast buttons in Country Road. It's got like a pocket, but you can hardly see it. But the hem is squared off. Quite like that. It's nice. I would style this with my grey wide leg pants, with a pair of black pants, with a pair of jeans. You could do a half tuck, you could do a full tuck, you could play with a sleeve profile. Mm. I saw this top and there are pants as well. They're not glittery, but they don't have the pants in my size, but it is cropped, meant to be with high-waisted pants. But like, check this colour out. I would not wear it with jeans, but cute. Okay, this pink dress got a little gape there where the pleat is, but I have put the sleeves up into a French cuff and just opened up the neckline because it's a little bit stuffy for me being all one, but it's a really pretty pink, which I think would transition well from winter to summer a couple of pair of sandals a pair of pumps a pair of flats it's pretty cute i could change the belt out yeah i think about this one i think 
I'm not, it's very flattering. I just need to kind of pin this little bit here. You can see it's got like a pleat across the breast. Mm. Next, I went to witchery and tried these linen pants and jackets. I was in between sizes in the pants and I think I'm going to go upper size and get them tailored. Really um, like this kind of laid back vibe. These shirts are a little heavy, probably too warm for our summertime. Um, you can see me like worrying about the tightness. Linen does give, that is my concern about going upper size. Then I tried the navy linen shirt. Again, beautiful. Um, spoiler alert, what I have done is I've ordered these pants and the navy pants in the same color as the shirt and the shirt online. So I'm waiting for those. This is different for me, a shirt dress. So it has a vertical stripe, it has pockets and a really long tie that you can tie at the back or the front. Super easy to wear, very comfortable perfect for our kind of temperate weather but I'm not convinced it's my style. All right well I got to show you a few things however my phone battery was going quickly flat so I have picked up a few things things outside of my comfort zone but things I was very impressed with in terms of the fabric or the design I think I can do a lot with them stripes I hate stripes but vertical stripes so I was pretty happy about that um and charcoal something else that's different for me but if i keep buying the same things then i just have repeats don't i so yeah it was good to have a good look around um a few things i'm going to keep an eye out for to see if they go on sale and as per usual i shopped at places where i didn't have my rewards coupons so <laughs> so this vlog has already gone long enough i am going to take you through my first week at work outfits in my next vlog i hope you've enjoyed gap week keep an eye out for proving potential my video about why i've decided to change my career course of my career i suppose um i'll link my channel in the description box below and that video should be coming out if not before this vlog um a little bit after but maybe before everything's going to be all jumbled up for a little bit Anyway, thanks so much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed Gap Week and I'll catch you later. Bye.